Hi everybody, Spurgle here. Welcome to my Beginner Basics Modding Daisy Tutorials. Episode 4. Setting up Add-on Builder and packing your first mod. Continuing on from where we left off last episode, we've just saved our config CPP for the Beginner Basics mod. Let's minimize this and navigate to our Daisy server directory. Create a new folder, and I'm going to call mine at test. Open this folder up, create another new folder called add-ons. Now go back into your server directory, find your start.bat and edit it. We want to put a semicolon, then the name of the folders we just created. Save that and minimize it. And launch add-on builder. Here you'll see the add-on source directory. This wants to be the folder that we are packing, which in our case is beginner basic the destination where you want your packed PVO to go. And again, in our case, this is our daisy server at test add-ons folder. Make sure Byronize is checked and let's go to our options. This is a list of files that do not get Byronized. I will copy and paste this into the description so you can use it if yours is not exactly the same as mine. This is the path to your private key. We will cover this in a video of its own when we create our keys before publishing the finished mod. Your temporary folder and the path to your project folder or your P drive. As long as this is all right, you can check tools, make sure everything is using default and click OK. Now we are ready to pack our mod for the first time. Click the pack button, click yes and let it do its thing. Once finished, you'll see the build successful. Click OK. We're ready to launch our Daisy server with our new mod on it. So, launch a server like before. And launch Daisy. Refresh your LAN tab. And you'll see your server is there. Click Join. And you'll see this big red bar. At Test is not there. Choose Action. You can ignore it, find it on the workshop, or find it on the web. This is not what we want to do. Click close to mods. See the local mod button. Now find your at test folder. There we go. At test mod was installed. Go back to your servers tab. Click join, and you'll see it's all good now. Launch DayZ. Once you've fully loaded into your test server, load up your admin tool, go to the spawn menu, and let's spawn a first aid kit to see if our mod has worked. There it is on the floor in front of me. And as you can see, it's now got a 5x5 inventory. It takes up a 4x4 space, and it should be able to attach to your belt slot. Everything has worked. We have made our first mod. Pat yourself on the back, and I'll see you next time when we try to retexture a vanilla item.